The Grand Blue Restaurant is a fantastic dining experience with fresh seafood. This is the Tunisian um, liquor, Tibarina. This is the original bottle. Now it's in, in different bottles. This was invented by the French White Fathers. Is it made of cloth? In the 19th century. That's the point. So it's made of what? It's written here. Let me just... Okay, I need my glasses. So, alcohol, fine, fine. sugar, and... Fine herb. Fine herb. Herb. And herbs. So don't use that. So it's not, it's not from date. It's sweet, but it's not from date. It's from medicinal herbs, aromatic herbs found in the mountains. And alcohol and sugar. The name is Tiberin. And it's the name of the town in the northwest of Tunisia, founded by the French, called Tibar. Tibar, Tibari. Dining around Tunis is an unforgettable experience, and especially at La Falaise. It's party time at Hotel City Bou Said. This is how we do it in Tunisia. You know, Sidi Bou Said is a very special place. It's an Andalusian 17th century village on top of the hill overlooking Tunis Bay. And what I love is the fact that people come here from all around the world. Yasmina Hamamet is a luxurious integrated resort where large hotels surround the marina and the Medina Mediterranean.
I love coming to Yasmina Hazrubal here in Hammamet, where the ocean roars like a lion. And also we can go to the spa, great food, a fresco dining. The people are so incredible. Every time I come to Tunisia, there's always another discovery. You will discover this wonderful treasure right here on the Mediterranean. Fresh olives, harissa and tuna is very Tunisian. Welcome to Carowin. I'm here at the Kasbah Hotel. I've always wanted to say, take me to the Kasbah. And what I love is the fact that this is where the largest mosque is, and religion is very important. 99% of the people here are Muslims, and they take family and religion very seriously. Within the next few minutes, you're going to see some of the wonderful sights of Carowin. This is the Grand Mosque of Carowin. So we are in the Grand Mosque of Kairawan, which is the oldest mosque in North Africa. And it was built in 670 AD, the same year the whole town was founded. But of course it was rebuilt many times, so the final shape, the final architecture of this monument actually dates from 9th century AD. That period, 9th century AD, many um, towns, uh, Roman and Byzantine towns were abandoned, of course. So, 500 columns were brought from different regions in Tunisia to rebuild this monument, 500 columns. Besides, of course, these sandstone blocks we are seeing here behind me, they are Roman sandstone blocks brought from an abandoned monument and the proof, this, this Latin inscription, and we have, hopefully, we have a name of Roman emperor Antonini or Antonine. So he lived, he was the emperor in 2nd century AD. So what we know about these sandstones, they date from 2nd century AD, but we don't know which monument and we don't know which town these were brought from. And we notice the entrance is formed of three marble blocks that are Roman also. We can see here the acanthus, acanthus form or uh, design, of course. And they were brought also from an abandoned Roman monument. This mosque is the oldest and the largest mosque in Tunisia. So it's a symbol of Kerouan. Kerouan, I mean, was the capital of Tunisia, of North Africa and also Andalusia when it was invaded in 8th century AD. It was joined, it was a province of Kerouan or Ifriqiya, which is north, what we call now North Africa. And the golden age of Kerouan was actually 9th century AD. The proof is this beautiful mosque. The old walls of Carowin that leads into the Medina, where you'll find rugs, tea, friendly people, fruit, and etc. Carowin is in the southeast of Tunisia, and it's a wonderful place to come to. We have had great adventures throughout Tunisia, and you know, it's a very special place. Every time I come to Tunisia, there's a new discovery. The mosque here is one of the largest in all of Tunisia and the people are fantastic. This is the wonderful pool here at the Kasbah. And the Kasbah is, you know, it's so romantic. It reminds you of all the movies. Until next week, I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. Remember, get up, get out, and travel! Hope to see you next week at another great destination around the world. So long for now. Thank you.